Belarus appears to be moving towards the establishment of an independent Iranian Shahid loitering munition production facility, a development highlighted by the Institute for the Study of War ISW, on July 31st. This indication comes in light of a meeting between Belarusian Defense Minister Lieutenant General Viktor Krenin and his Iranian counterpart that took place in Iran on the same day. The meeting resulted in the signing of a MOU and a bilateral military cooperation plan. Analysts suggest that these negotiations may have encompassed discussions about potential weapon agreements, potentially including the creation of a Shahid loitering munition production facility in Belarus. Over the weekend, Western naval forces cautioned ships in the Gulf's Strait of Hormuz against entering Iranian waters to prevent seizure risks. U.S. Fifth Fleet's commander Tim Hawkins advised vessels to steer clear of Iranian territorial waters to minimize this risk. The U.S.-led International Maritime Security Construct, IMSC, is actively informing regional mariners about precautions to reduce the likelihood of seizure, aligning with efforts to de-escalate regional tensions. During a training mission on Saturday, a Russian warplane crashed in the Kaliningrad region, resulting in the tragic deaths of both pilots aboard. The Su-30 aircraft went down in an uninhabited area with local military authorities confirming that the flight had taken place without any ammunition on board. Officials have pointed to a probable technical malfunction as the underlying cause of the crash. Kaliningrad, situated between NATO member countries Poland and Lithuania, is a Russian exclave along the Baltic Sea. Notably, the Su-30 fighter jet, which was involved in this incident, has seen significant use during Russia's involvement in the Ukraine conflict. On Sunday, a Russian warship engaged in warning fire toward a Palau-flagged dry cargo ship in the southwestern Black Sea as the ship headed towards Ukraine, according to the Russian Defense Ministry. The Russian vessel, Vasily Baikov patrol ship, resorted to firing with auto automatic weapons at the Sukru Okan cargo ship after its captain failed to respond to a request to stop for inspection. The Sukru Okan was en route to the Ukrainian port of Ismail, as stated by the Defense Ministry. Warning shots were fired from automatic weapons to forcibly halt the vessel. Subsequently, Russian military personnel boarded the ship, utilizing a K-29 helicopter for assistance. Once the inspection group concluded their activities on board, the Sukru Okan resumed its course toward the port of Ismail, as reported by the Defense Ministry. In Cambodia's northeastern region, a school has recently uncovered thousands of unexploded ordnance remnants from the country's traumatic civil war period. Despite the passage of decades since the conflict and the U.S. bombing campaign in the 1960s, Cambodia still grapples with the legacy of being among the world's most heavily bombed and mined areas. The discovery of more than 2,000 explosives, including over 1,000 M79 grenades, at a high school in Krati province highlights the ongoing challenges that Cambodia faces in terms of safety and recovery, as reported by AFP. The scars left by the US bombing campaign and resulting minefields continue to hinder the nation's progress. Tragically, over the last 40 years, around 20,000 Cambodians have lost their lives due to accidental encounters with landmines and unexploded ordnance.